So the question of how do you actually get more of the existing infrastructure touches directly on demand prediction because I'll give you an example again from the UK. What we're able to do today is we sign up um, end customers for demand response program. So for example, if you have an, an EV, we connect directly to your vehicle's API and let's say you want 80% charge by morning, we'll guarantee you that. But we're not guaranteeing when that charging is exactly gonna happen. Now, we have the shape of supply predicted somehow, right? With some degree of uncertainty because of wind and, uh, uh, and solar availability, geothermal if you have that, slightly easier to predict. And then we multiplex the charging of cars so that it fits the shape of your supply and what you purchased uh, in the wholesale market while responding in real time to the actual availability of renewable energy, right? So if there's a low, if there's a peak, we're able to take, and we have hundreds of thousands of EVs, we have 200,000 EVs connected to our platform in the UK alone, that's about 1.4 gigawatt. That's a nuclear power plant and a half. So that's a significant amount of energy.